I'd like to share with you a few more pointers in the practice of Kapotasana, and this is specifically on the subtle adjustments you're going to do with your arm bones, including the elbows, and of course the rest of your upper extremities uh, at that point where you're about to touch the floor, you know, if you're still working on your Kapotasana, or when you're about to reach for your heels. All right, so this is important and helpful uh, for creating more space in the thoracic spine because as you curl back, yeah, the lower back contracts, that's inevitable, and your chest will tighten and because of the pressure you know, of the position. Uh, but if you do this technique I will be sharing with you, this will pave way for more opening in your chest, your rib cage, and as well as uh, your breathing yeah, mechanisms. All right, so in the kneeling position, Okay, so I'll yeah, probably give you uh, two pointers or two angles for this. So, so first, in your kapotasana or your kneeling position, yeah, let's just yeah, fast forward the process. For example, all right, you're already at that point. All right, let me just find that point. All right, when you're about to reach already, yeah, you know this point there. Yeah? That you cannot extend anymore, and then you're ready to fall backwards. So what you got to do? Yeah. So notice my elbows. The elbows go wide. All right. So really open. Whereas in the setup, it's narrow to pave way for the lifting of the spine. And then when you're about to touch the floor, open the elbows wide. Open the arms wide. You see, wide. And then you can you know, connect your fingertips, like they're forming like the shape of the triangle. And then keep breathing forward and up. And then what this uh, technique does, it opens the chest. So you can breathe, so you can sustain the pressure, and at the same time, you make room for uh, your spine opening up. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so let me uh, go the other direction so you can see as well. Okay. Good. Setting up. All right. Draw in, push down through your knees. Yeah, at first, this is your setup, right? Good. And then here, and then the arms turn out. So what you're going to do is to open the arms wide, and then forward and up. Forward and up. And at the same time, you can even yeah, dance your shoulders around like you're moving the arm bones under the body. Inhaling. Notice how I position the arms, open, open. Um, it's actually rotating inward. Yeah, this may sound counterproductive, what, but what it does when you roll inward, yeah, so you make room for your uh, lower extremities pressing down, therefore you can lift taller. Good. Wide and in, and then rotate out. Wide, in, rotate out. And then, then, yeah, notice how the body is hanging so lightly at the back. And grab hold of yeah, your heels. And then here, you may wave side to side. So this is how I do it. Like you're moving the arm bones under the body, creating more space for the chest to open up. Good. And you can even walk the knees towards the midline because inevitably they go wider. Now, inhaling. You can open the elbow. See, open wide. Inhale to make room for the chest moving up. Mm, good. Feels good, this one. And descend on the ground. Good. And then the rest of the release the same. Inhaling. You can repeat the process. Open wide. Lift up and under. Open wide. Lift up and under. And to your setup position. Good. So in summary, yeah, the setup is still the same. Yeah. So you move your arm bones forward and up so you can open the side trunk. But when you are at that point, that's where you're about to touch, what you're going to do, yeah, you're going to open like this. You can even roll inward so you can push downward and then open. So the process is in, up, and back, in, up, and back, in, up, and back. All right, so let me angle again this way. Exhaling, 
breathing in, forward, up and back. All right, set up, inhale, arm bones forward, up and back, forward, up and back, forward, up and back. Okay, and then when you're about to touch, open, you can roll, we can tuck in, up and backwards, open, yeah, you can even separate the hands, yeah, open up, elbows wide, collarbones wide, and touch, and then adjust, yeah, using the grip of your hands against your feet, and then inhaling, opening wide, so you make room for the spine moving up, and then scoop your arm bones under the body, and then continue your descent on the floor. And to come up, inhaling, you can open wide so you can breathe. All right, and all the way up to your setup position. Okay, hope that helps. Yeah. Kapotasana looks simple externally, but there are many underlying components. You have the joints of the shoulders, elbows, wrist, and then even here, and then even the mouth. So explore them all. Yeah, they will all add up into providing lightness and yeah, space and mobility in your practice of this powerful deep back bend. Yeah. Hope that helps and I see you next one. Yeah. Bye bye. Namaste.